This is part 4 of how to digitize any custom design into a patch. If you haven't seen the first 3 parts, I'll make sure to link them in the description. In this video, I will be showing how to import and work with BX fonts in Brilliance. So if you want to use a font that you can type out and directly edit in in Brilliance, you're going to want to download a BX font. I purchased this font called the Heart Maze from Etsy. When you're looking for a font to use for a patch, you want to pay attention to the sizes available for that font. This font comes with a size as small as a quarter inch, which is great because I'm going to need very small letters for my patch. When you purchase any design online, you don't really want to scale that up or down because it was digitized to be embroidered on that exact size. So I purchased this font from Etsy, but there are a ton of different resources online for where you can find BX fonts. The Brilliance website actually has a whole list of websites where you can purchase BX fonts, and I'll make sure to link that in the description. So bringing in a BX font to Embrilliance is super simple. All you have to do is drag it into the software. So I already downloaded the size that I need, and I'm just going to show grabbing a different size. Just going to click and drag. And I'll get a notice saying that the file has been installed. And to use the font, I'm just going to click this blue A up at the top. And over here, select the correct font. And I'm going to go color by color. So first, I'm just going to type let it and press enter. I'm going to zoom in a little. And to move this, I'm going to select on the actual letters, not the green square, and click and drag. And then I'm just going to go in and edit each individual letter. So to do that, I'm clicking the green square. That looks pretty good. I'm not too concerned about this font looking exactly like my image because when I drew the image, I just roughly drew the letters by hand. If you're interested in learning how to digitize your custom hand-drawn font, I'll make another video of that in the future. But for now, I'm just using a font that closely matches the one that I drew. And then to add the second word, I'm going to do the same thing, clicking the blue A, typing row, and adjusting its placement. And again, I'm not too worried about this matching perfectly. I just want to make sure it looks good. And just so I can see better, I'm going to go back to the Create panel, hide the image. I see that it's a little bit too much to the right. Going back to the selection. And I'm just going to shift everything over. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the colors. And that's it. As you can see, working with BX fonts is really easy. And there are so many different font options out there. You can have a lot of fun with it. I'm not too worried about the order of the colors right now. I'm going to do that at the end. But for now, this is the end of this video. And in the next video, we'll be creating the background and setting up the file to be ready to embroider.